we seem to not be able to get on MTV at all. Where do we put these gore videos? Headbangers ball, 120 minutes, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense, it doesn't fit. My judge apparently really liked us and he was like, okay, my characters, they're these people, what would their favorite band be? Oh, it would be Guar. Of course, Beavis and Butthead's favorite band would be Guar. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead was such an important show. And you know, because of the autonomy that Mike Judge had in programming that show, he was able to go over the heads of the people in the music programming department. Yes. Yes. It exposed yes. them to places in the country where there weren't even that many radio stations. It's like, you have to watch TV for like an hours and hours and hours before you see this video. But like, when you do that, it's all worth it, yeah. We were playing these little punk rock clubs. Now we're playing this ginormous place because Beavis and Butthead loves Guar, so we gotta go check them out. And everybody was like, what is that shit? I gotta go see it. So our tours were packed out, you know? We were on our way. <laughs> There's too much cool stuff to keep track of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Beavis and Butthead thing turned into the Sega Genesis game, which was a really big deal. The point of the whole game was to go to a Guar concert. I just thought that was the coolest thing when I was a kid. I wrote one of them riffs on that song and it ended up on the game. They put it on, it was like Hey, that's badass. Why did I come here? That was cool. Yeah. It seemed like there was another thing every other week. Like, now we're going to do Jerry Springer. There always is black humor in times of change, okay, hold in times on. of revolution. I mean, it's it's been all throughout history and all throughout literature. OK, hold on. Will you please welcome <laughs> We can blow on our thumbs and blow up to 300 feet in the air. And hang on uh, the Empire State Building. You probably have already done that on Sally Jesse. But, uh, could, 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 oh! We did a, a skit in our show, The Idiot Box, where you know they you sacrifice your daughter to Guar, and they come to your house, and they take your daughter, and she ends up in the show, and gets fed through a giant meat grinder. The whole thing is super violent. And there would be people in the audience who were kind of freaked out. And even Heather was <laughs> freaked out. Well, she out. got put into a meat grinder. <laughs> no, but it wasn't real. They weren't really gonna look like. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the name for your games, Circuit City.